G'day, Stockers here from ABCPE, the site where we make VCEPE as easy as ABC. And no, I'm not going fishy. I brought my fishing rod in because it's a great example of a lever. Um, a lever is a rigid bar. We use them all the time in life because they help us either amplify force or amplify speed. This fishing rod is a speed amplifier. I know that because it's a third class lever. What do I mean by that? All third class levers have the force in the middle. They are AFRs. Every lever has an axis of force and a resistance. And I can tell you that the fishing rod's axis is here. Force is where I apply my hand and the resistance is all the way down at the end of the fishing rod. And when I move that lever, it moves a long way and that amplifies speed, which means I can hook my fish. Now, my arm is also a third class lever. The axis in this case is going to be my shoulder. The force is the muscle directly below the shoulder that moves it. And then the resistance is my hand. Humans are full of third class levers. We are an animal built for speed. And of course we can amplify the speed even more if we understand the formula of mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage force arm divided by resistance arm. And if we know that, and we're able to somehow lengthen our resistance arm, I don't know, by maybe straightening my elbow, or lengthening my arm by using one of these dog throwers, then we can actually bring the mechanical advantage of this lever below one, even further below one, and amplify split speed even more, which is why people use these, isn't it? We've all been down to the beach or the park and seen people use these dog throwers to throw the ball a long way or to throw the ball faster. Let's see how it works in action outside. Righto guys, so two throws, one with my short lever, and short resistance arm, another one with my longer lever with the dog thrower, and Wooly in the background here has got the radar gun. He's gonna see if I can throw it faster with the, uh, the uh, longer lever. Let's have a look. All right, Stocky, that was 55 kilometers per hour. All right, so now, we use the dog thrower, we've got a much longer resistance arm, axis force, resistance is all the way out there. Mechanical advantage even further below one, should throw it faster. Let's have a look. Whoa. Wowee, 85 kilometers an hour. Oh. 